Course 2, we are going to be in investigation number 3, which starts on page 216. And today we're going to just teach um, something called a coordinate plane. That's kind of a fancy word for saying um, graphs. All right, and a graph has to go on to some type of coordinate, which is this box, okay? And coordinates um, will be assigned which are numbers. And so I'm going to teach you um, what a coordinate is. First of all, let's start with this graph. And I want to um, first demonstrate that the up-down line right here all the way to down here is called the Y coordinate. Okay, so I, I label this Y. And this one from side to side, east to west, is the what we call the x-axis and we call these axes because they they um, give us definite um, uh, positioning for our graph so we have the y axis and the x axis the x and y axis tell us where these two numbers are going to go all right before we assign a number here um, I also want to say that there are what's called quadrants, and you'll notice that the, there's the first right here, okay, we got the second, we got the third, and we have the fourth. These are called quadrants, okay, so um, I put first here um, to help us, Q-U-A-R-D, a N T S. Sorry, gotta get the spelling here. First quadrants, second quadrants, third, fourth. And you'll notice something. The first quadrant starts from this line and goes this direction. Okay? So it's counterclockwise. So if you think about it, one, two, three, four, it's like the arms of a clock going backwards. Alright? But that's exactly what it is, okay? So I'm going to remove uh, the quadrant stuff here, and we're going to think about um, how we can actually give a coordinate and what quadrant we're going to be in. And you'll see an example of the quadrants down on page 216. Uh, one more thing. Every single line here, okay, and um, on and on and on and on, both up, down, and both sides, east to west, literally, these go on forever, right? And so each one of these has a value of 1. But there's something important I've got to teach you about this. On the y-axis going up this direction, they're all positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and on and on and on. For the x-axis going this direction, they're also positive. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on. The y going down from the starting point of, here's our first coordinate, 0, 0, which is right here in the middle. Okay. Here, well, the y is negative. And the x going this direction is also negative. So there's negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we've got positives here. Both sides are positive. Here we have positive and then negative. Here is negative and negative. And here the x is positive and the y is negative. So if you, if you remember that, that's going to help you arrange your um, your graphs okay so let's begin by <coughs> excuse me didn't mean to sneeze I couldn't hit the mute button soon enough <clears throat> so let's begin by putting in a coordinate all right so let's draw our zero zero which is right here okay it's the middle of our graph and what if I gave you point A and said that it's going to be 4, 3. What does that mean? Well, this side are always the x 
and this side are always the y's. So 4, a positive 4 on the x-axis. Well, let's go to our x-axis. We either have a choice of a negative 4 on this side or a positive 4 on this side, so we're going to choose this one. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, hold the button there, and then we have to go to y, a positive 3. So we're going to go to the y, and we're going to go up 3, and if we go up 3, there's our spot. Our first dot is right there. That is this coordinate. Okay, 4, 3. It's kind of like moving your finger and going over to the 4 and then moving your th finger and going up 3 and you get there. All right, what about B? Let's look at B. And this is on page 217. You'll see the coordinate points. Uh, negative 3 and 4. Well, if it's a negative 3 and it's the x-axis, then I have to go 1, 2, 3. This is the negative 3 and up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. There it is. That's negative 3, 4. And if you have to put your reminders of x and y there, okay. Um, C says this. Uh, negative 5 and 0. Well, negative 5 on the x-axis is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Here it is. And if it's 0, it doesn't go up or down. It just stays on 0 here. So there it is. So we just found all of our points listed um, uh, on this. Okay. So I kind of taught you backwards. They gave you the dots and asked you to come up with the actual things. I gave you the coordinates and had you go find them. And we had three coordinates for A, B, and C. Okay? All right. So if you have a coordinate plane, and here we do, we can actually show all kinds of, all kinds of um, um, expressions on this coordinate plane. And by expressions meaning um, <clears throat> coordinate coordinates. And so example two says it starts off with three and four. Okay. Well, if this is zero, if we have x as three, one, two, three, and a positive four, one, two, three, four, there it is. B says two and negative three. Well, two is here and negative three, one, two, three is here. Uh, the next one, negative one and two. Well, if we have to go to negative 1, that goes this way in the x, and then positive 2, there you go. And then 0 and negative 4. 0 on the x means we don't move either way, and negative 4 just means we move 1, 2, 3, 4 down here. Okay, if we wanted to connect the dots here, we could. Makes a weird shape, but sometimes they ask us to do that. Anyway, we found those points on a coordinate plane. Okay, all right, so the next things that they're going to ask us to do is going to be um, do things like um, draw a square. And so they're going to give us locations. Okay, so look at example 3 on page 218 where it gives us 2 and 2. The next coordinate is 2 and negative 1. The third coordinate is negative 1, negative 1, and the fourth coordinate is negative 1 and 2. All right, so when you draw your coordinate plane, you got to establish a starting point or a midpoint. That's why I always draw these lines even though they're not totally straight. It gives me a starting point, okay? 2 and positive 2. We're going to go, remember x is on this side and y is on this side, so we're going to do the x first and it's positive. 1, 2, and then up 2. There's our first dot. That one's done. Let's go to this one. We have 2 and negative 1. There it is. Let's go to negative 1 and negative 1. There that one is. And negative 1 and 2. All right. Did you see a square formed? Sure. It's easy, right? Is it a square? Yes, because there's 1, 2, 3 units here and 1, 2, 3 units here. And if we asked what's the area of that, it's 3 times 3, that's 9 units squared, right? Because we have that. What's the surface, or the, uh, um, oh, the outside perimeter? Well, if all of these are 3, we would note that the perimeter is 12 units. 
right? Pretty easy to uh, do math problems with finding these coordinates. Um, the next ones deal with just finding a rectangle. So they'll give you a coordinate here, here, and here, and then you can kind of see the, the rectangle idea there, or the triangle idea there, or a rectangle where they will do something like this, and you'll have to find coordinates that match these, and you'll see these, and again, it's all based on those kinds of numbers. And then they're going to ask you to find perimeter and area of those things. Okay? So these are not hard problems. Pretty simple to find these, uh, these questions out. And by the way, if you have a straight line, let me switch to red here. Go back up to this triangle. If you have a coordinate line and they're straight on both of those, and they're both at two, up and to this way, you know that this is a 90 degree angle, which also means that these two are worth 45 degrees. Okay, if it's longer, if the if the if it's longer like this, okay, it's still a 90 degrees, but you're probably going to have something like a 60 degree here and a 30 degree here, and we'll talk about the difference between those two. But just just note that they do give one example in your uh, lesson here which is only 10 questions um, about that, okay? So today's lesson should be pretty easy, but just introducing this idea of coordinate planes and finding uh, those positions on the coordinate planes, I think you'll have an easy time doing this, and I think your lesson will go a whole lot faster than the ones in normal routine. All right, if you have any questions, let me know.